Are we rolling? We're rolling. This, <laughs> <laughs> this just in, guys. Breaking news. In 2011, the American Psychological Association published some great research. I'm going to read some fun facts to you. Fun facts. Very fun facts. Of all the questions that remain to be answered, perhaps the most perplexing of all of them that influence exercise in the brain is, if exercise makes you feel good, then why is nobody doing it? Not true. Why are a lot of people not doing it? Very true. And then the, the answer is, um, 25% of the U.S. population reported zero leisurely time physical activity. Therefore, one would say, why is that 25% not exercising? Attending to the outcomes of fitness is a recipe for failure, okay? Doctors are recommending losing weight, lowering cholesterol, yada, yada, yada. People leave thinking, great, I'll start working out. After two weeks, they look in the mirror, and I don't really feel like I look that different, okay? Focusing on the cognitive effects, feeling better, improvements in mood, improving brain function, processing speed, feeling confident, great uh, self um What's, what's the term I'm looking for? Self-efficacy? Yeah, self-efficacy, self-esteem. Self Thank you. Uh, both are valid. Both are valid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the last quote here, guys, is many people skip the workout at the very time it has the greatest payoff. That prevents you from noticing just how much better you feel when you exercise. Failing to exercise when you feel bad is like explicitly not taking aspirin when your head hurts. Okay? That's the time you get the payoff at most. When you're feeling the worst, that's the time to get mobile and move. So, key takeaways from this, guys, and we've been preaching this a lot, is avoiding doing too much too soon too often. Okay, so have a very methodical approach, and this is what we've been trying to do by pushing out this education and this resources for you guys, and build it over time, and have it take these lifestyle habits, and turn them, well, habits rather, and turn them into lifestyle changes, right? And it kind of feeds back into this entire coming full circle of understanding what's absolutely necessary, what's the minimum effective dosage, and building that up over time. And the biggest thing, the biggest thing in all of this is have consistency, okay? So think about that next time you sit down at your rig and think about you know, what are some things you can do to build in these habits that turn into lifestyle changes? What are these quick pops you can do in terms of mobility in the morning? What are some easy exercises you can do throughout the day to improve blood flow, which we know improves cognitive performance? Uh, what are some cardiovascular exercises such as walking just 10 minutes a day? Or even five walk five minutes a day, walk around the building one time, that is a win in my book, as long as you are consistent and continue to build over time. Yeah. So guys, this is your IPI movement education of the day. Peace.